540 at KLIF after yesterday's shootings in Virginia and at the UPS facility in California. Many, uh, especially on social media, calling for tougher gun laws. But is that the answer? Joining us to talk about this is Edwin Walker, a weapons expert with Texas Law Shield. Good morning, Mr. Walker. Good morning. How are you? Good. Uh, So what are your thoughts on this? Um, Tougher gun laws or not? (laughs) Well, I think that this uh, situation, especially the one in, in Virginia with the uh, with the congressional party, uh, points out that we do not need tougher gun laws because, unfortunately, we are not able to all have our own you know armed security guard that follows us that follows us everywhere, and thank goodness the Capitol police were you know dispatched on scene uh, where they could you know where they could effectively deal with the threat. But since you know we don't have the ability to have armed police with us all the time, uh, this once again proves that you can be attacked anywhere for any reason. Um, these folks were obviously the subject of a political assassination, but it doesn't matter if they're trying to rob you at a at a at a, at a, at a car wash, if they're trying, if you just happen to be in a convenience store at the wrong time, uh, whether or not you're you know subject to being sexually assaulted or just being murdered on the street. Threats can come at you anytime, anywhere, and since we can't all have our individual police officer, we have to have the best tool available to protect ourselves, and that is a firearm. Uh, the the gunman in the Virginia incident came from Illinois. Uh, do we know how he got his hands on that gun, that weapon? Well, I was doing a little research on it, and that issue has not been addressed. I've not seen it addressed anywhere, but you're right. He he came from Illinois. Illinois does have some of the toughest gun laws in the United States. Once he got to Virginia, federal law prohibits him from buying a gun from a federal firearms dealer in Virginia. And, uh, you know, that, that's a prohibition under federal law. The laws of Virginia don't have anything to do with that. So unless he got the rifle in Illinois, he brought it to Virginia with him, which, which that is lawful. You can transport firearms across state lines. That is perfectly lawful. He could not have come from Illinois unarmed and then armed himself in Virginia. That would have been a violation of federal law. So so there are laws on the books. Um, maybe the law wasn't effective in this regard. Uh, there's many firearms laws that are not effective. But at the end of the day, people who advocate for gun control, unless they have a way where they can wave a magic wand and everybody is disarmed at the same time, uh, then I, I don't understand why they want to attempt to keep law-abiding citizens to keep guns out of their hands that would be used to protect them against lawbreakers. Uh, that simply doesn't make any sense whatsoever. What would be wrong with with uh, making it uh, a, a federal law that guns the, the guns themselves would have to be trackable from a, a point of original sale to uh, you know, transfer to somebody else or sale to somebody else that uh, that they be you know kept track of. Well, they are by and large uh, kept track of, and there are specific prohibitions. Like private citizens cannot sell firearms to private citizens who reside in another state. That is a federal law. The only type of firearms transaction that is not subject to federal regulation is a private person-to-person sale that occurs within the same state. Um, And the federal government doesn't have authority to regulate that because that's a private intrastate transaction. Um, And the federal government doesn't regulate those because it would violate the Commerce Clause of the U.S. Constitution. Um, Some states have passed laws that, uh, that do require that private transactions that occur within their state have to go through background checks, but... That is, you know, if for, for the large part, that's unnecessary and usually winds up just being a money grab with regard to the state because, of course, there's always a fee involved. If you have to go to a dealer, they're going to charge a fee, uh, and it infringes on your right as a private citizen to, you know, dispose of your own property how you see fit. Uh, and that and, and, and that of all the firearms transactions that take place in the United States, that actually is a very, very small percentage of the sales um sales on the internet you know you <clears throat> one thing that that did become clear in the aftermath of this is that the anti-gun folks are still 
uh, having um, basically going unchallenged with their uh, their assertions and their anti-gun rhetoric. Um, for example, Terry McAuliffe, extremely liberal, extremely anti-gun governor of Virginia, goes on TV yesterday and says that 93 million people a day are killed with gun violence. And, you know, that goes unchallenged. Nobody says, did you really just say 93 million people a day are killed in gun violence? Uh, I saw a woman on NBC News say that this man had an automatic, she said he had a semi-automatic rifle. That means it shoots faster. It doesn't. I mean, that, 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 and apparently she was a retired Secret Service agent. Oh, I mean, really? if she was, then she probably was, should not have been allowed in the Secret Service to begin with. Yeah. Because... It doesn't matter. A semi-automatic firearm, whether it's a handgun or whether it's a rifle, it shoots it shoots rounds at the exact same rate. And that rate is as fast as your finger can pull right. it, yeah. it will shoot a bullet. Exactly. One pull, one bullet. Yeah, you're right. She should have known and that. So, and by the way, that 93 million uh, number has been uh, has been discounted on Fox News this morning. And I'm sure the others are picking well, up on of course, it. But. Well, I think reality would discount it. That means that uh, the entire U.S. population would be wiped out in what? Yeah. Five days? Yeah, yeah, good point. Mr. Walker, we got to go, but thank you so much for your time this morning. We appreciate it very much. There's uh, Ed Walker, weapons expert with U.S. Law Shield or Texas Law Shield.